Hello guys and welcome to this awesome tips video for making money at crucial stages of the game. Obviously the first day is where we're going to start. So I'm going to set this out in three different stages and then the fourth stage, well you'll have to find out at the end. But the first stage is day one, the second stage is kind of like mid, mid kind of game and then the third stage is when you're really really far through and you've unlocked quite a lot of buildings um, yeah and then after that well let's find out later on okay so we'll just quickly create a character here before we jump into the game and this is where we start the game so we start in this house here the first thing we have to do is do this kind of like tutorial thing which is dead easy Now once we've completed this tutorial, we'll need to go and chat to a few people. Now when you're looking for these people, <laughs> they're not always kind of in the village walking around. Yeah, they are sometimes up there. So we'll head on up these steps and yeah, sometimes they're walking along the top of here. If you do want to know what these missions are, then head on over to our playlist where we've literally did that in the first episode, went through this properly um, so you can get an idea of what the actual kind of answers are and questions and so on. Anyway, so once that's finished, as you can see, we start with 50 coins and we start with 200 Dynasty Reputation. Now, you need to be careful about the Dynasty Reputation because that will go down if we get caught. So the trick is to basically steal things without getting caught. The first thing you want to do is come back to the house that you started in and just jump up here, jump up here and there's all these potions in this box. So if you hit the P key, you can go into first person mode. It's just a little bit easier to see in certain situations. So grab these potions and there's one thing that I see a lot of people forget is if you turn around, there's an axe. Take the axe. And then if we come round to the chest, we can take some of this stuff out of the chest as well. Now if you look at the, the, the weight now, we're, we're kind of overloaded a bit, so we're just going to head on down to the market and we'll just sell these to the vendors. Making some quick money, sell everything, the apples, the burrs, just everything. You can keep some things if you want, like the axes will come in handy for chopping trees down and so on, but for the purpose of this we're just going to sell everything. And there we go, so we're less than one kilogram in weight now. So what we're going to do is just simply go back to the chest. And take everything else out. Yep, and you've guessed it, we're going to sell it. Now take note that these vendors do run out of money, so there'll be a point where you get to that you can't sell anything to them. So all you need to do is just simply go to another vendor, uh, they'll have loads of money left and just carry on selling. Okay, so now what we're looking for is to increase our weight, uh, carry weight. So we're going to take the simple large backpack, which we have enough for. There we go. Now. What you can also get is the large pouch, but we don't quite have enough for that yet. So we're gonna go ahead and get some more money before we, and then come back for that. Um, if you double click on the simple large backpack, it'll equip that and there we go. We've got 55 kgs of weight to carry. Now, let's start stealing. So the first place you wanna come to is this because this has the most high value items in. Once you're in the building, have a look around, make sure there's nobody inside the building. When I showed you the dynasty reputation before, that decreases if you get caught. So, 
All you need to do then is go into the chest and look at the value of these things. Obviously, they're not sell, sale value. It is a little bit less, but it's still going to be a hefty price. So there we go. We've got 850 because we've got 500 coins out of that chest. So what are we going to do now? You guessed it. We're going to go get the large pouch. Now notice everything in red as well in our inventory. We cannot sell those things back to this village because we've taken it from this village. And again, we're just going to go to the large pouch, double click on it, and there we go. We've now got 65 kgs worth of uh, carry weight. Now simply all you need to do is make a little plan in your head of a, of a route to go around and just go into all the storage and just take everything out that's worth like a decent amount of money. Um, so anything like sticks and stones, I, I wouldn't bother with because it's just going to be unnecessary weight and it's, there's not really much value in it. Um, so literally just go from one building to another, making sure there's nobody inside the building, have a quick look around, nobody there. There we go. In, in, in here we've got some wine, we've got uh, a knife. We'll take the bucket as well. The coins, obviously. Now there's some copper bolts as well. And then we'll leave the firewood and the sticks just simply because it's going to be carry weight versus price it's just not really good ratio so and then we go we'll just carry on we'll go from building to building and don't forget the buildings outside yes pure stovia does have buildings outside so we can head on round have a look in these as well again quick check there's nobody inside no we're all free good and no, just firewood in this one, so we won't be taking anything out of this one. So we'll head on over to the next building. Those two are animal buildings, so they're kind of a bit open. No, so there's nothing in there either. But have I got a building for you? So here's the windmill. Now head on up here, and there's some nice, nice pricey stuff in here. Go to the chest. Here we go, we've got some grains, we've got some a simple bag. Also we got and we got some gloves. Now the gloves you could keep for winter or you can sell, it's entirely up to you. It's literally entirely entirely up to you what you want to sell. But once you've done that, come out of the village and we need to head north now to Klonica. So from Piastovia to Klonica. It is a long walk and you can do it or if you head back to the village we can take a taxi and here we go so this is taking us pretty much instantly to the village in the north and all we need to do now again is just find the vendors and sell everything start selling that stuff As, as you can see, he's run out of money, so now we need to go find uh, find another one. And there's one just around here. There she is. Let's stop her in her tracks. Again, just sell, sell, and sell. So as you can see, once you've done that to a few villages, you can rack up some good money. Um, you could also, we've also got the large backpack and the large pouch, which are the biggest ones that you can get. So we've maxed that out completely. Um, also, you can get things like gloves. Um, obviously, we sold some hammers and axes. We could have kept some of them as well. So it really is up to you. But as I say, at the start of the game, we've now got two and a half thousand. And that's without going through this village and the other two villages. And... We've still got, we still could sell these these if we really wanted to, and the perfume. So this is a really, really quick, easy way to make money. One thing you will notice as well is abandoned buildings, and there is money to be taken out of these too. So for example, this one, which is located just outside Piastovia, if we head inside, there's some money in the barrel, there's some straw, we can take the straw too. And then if we just hit the P key, and then make sure you look in all of these gaps as well in the walls because sometimes you can find things hidden in these. 
Look in the sack as well, we've got some animal feed. All these things you can keep or we can sell, it's entirely up to you as the player. And then next we can head inside this building. If we look on the floor here, look, we've got 150 coins there. Just to sat on the floor in a bag. Again, looking all, look through all the walls. There's a stool, we can't really do anything with that. There's a chest, we can take this potion, this wool thread. We can take a beer bottle. Um, we can't take that off the wall, unfortunately. That would, that would be quite cool. Uh, there's a stone axe just hanging in the wall. There's some more things, look, on this ledge here. We've got another beer bottle. We've got another bag of money, 50 coins. We've got some bundles, which has got some sickles and some flax. Always handy. Okay, uh, and on this particular building, as a quick bonus for you, if we head up to the roof, there's a bag of 500 coins. Take that and you'll be feeling rich. So as you can see now, we've got 2,900, right? Obviously, there's we didn't sell everything through the villages, but just imagine if you did. And this is just one abandoned building. There's many more as well. There's another one at the other side of Piastovia, kind of in that direction over there. But there's abandoned buildings all over the all over the map. So it's definitely worth checking these out as well. Just be careful though, because sometimes there are bandits and Obviously, if you don't have the bow on and any arrows, then you're going to be in a bit of trouble. So, and the good thing is as well, the things that you get from the um, from these abandoned buildings, you can sell anywhere. So, where these red ones, like we won't be able to sell this in Piastovia because we took it from Piastovia, but these sickles we can because we took it from that abandoned building. Okay, guys, and the second stage to make money a little bit later on is basically through cabbage. Now, if we head in, in here, right, we'll take 50 cabbage seeds. Now, as you can see, I've only got 50 cabbage seeds at the minute. Let's round that up to 100, and then that will be one full kilograms of weight now we have 80 but we'll take a few kilograms off say five just for things like um, you know like clothing and the, the backpack and everything like that so we could carry 7500 seeds right now what we're going to do is we're going to head to the village and we're going to see how much this five turns into for this 50 and then we'll be able to work out how much we'll be able to sell them for you may notice there are a few buildings here and i'm now on a horse Obviously, this is not the early game. This is the mid game. Well, probably a bit later than that. Um, but basically, this is a series that I'm doing, a Let's Play series. So if you want to see that, check out the playlist. Okay, so these cabbage seeds, if I sell 50, that was 175 coins. So if I was to sell that many seeds, we would have about 26,000 coins. And like I say, because it's such a small carry weight, that's why you can carry so many. Now, obviously, that's gonna take a really, really, really big farm. So the good thing about cabbage seeds is they can be planted in spring, collected in summer, and then planted again in summer and collected in the autumn. So there's two, uh, two seasons there where you can make quite a bit of money. Now, the biggest, the biggest plot of farm you can build in one go is 200 squares. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many cabbage seeds you can get up from 200 squares. But if you have a few of them going, then you'll be absolutely laughing. One thing you can also get farming is flax. Now, this is currently autumn and flax doesn't you don't get flax in autumn. So what you need to do is basically plant that in spring and then that will come in summer. And then you take the flax to the barn. What you do then is you take the flax to the barn, you hit this here, and you can see you gain flax seeds and flax stalk. So obviously the flax seeds will go for planting next spring, but you'll then take the flax stalk to the sewing hut, which I will just head on over now. So this is the level two um, sewing hut and all you need to do then is um, turn, the, turn it into linen thread 
you'll then need to come to linen fabric and don't do all of them into linen fabric just do some and I'll show you why now because if we go into the t-shirts you will need to unlock this I can't remember how much it is could be 200 the same as that I'm not quite sure but as you can see you need two linen fabrics and three linen threads to create one of these but if you look at the bottom look at that price 530 this is really easy to unlock and it's really easy to get now obviously flax can only be grown in one season so it does mean you have to wait back around again until summer to get the flax back but once you do you'll be able to sell these at wow i think the horse is blocking me in hang on cheers <laughs> thank you very much so anyway once you've turned that linen thread into uh, the t-shirt we can head back to the village And if we find a vendor, we can go to a vendor now. So she's got 1,169 coins available. If we head to the linen shirts, these are what we made and we can sell them. Now I have got something unlocked. Let me just go and show you that first. Right, so I have two skill points in the diplomacy. And if you look there, it says 20% better selling and buying prices. I've got one level to go, which will give me 30%. So I do get a bit of a better price. So you'll have to um, kind of figure out what that's going to be yourself. But like I say, if you if you can make like 10 of these, then you're going to get a lot of money. So if we sell these, we can only sell three because she hasn't got enough money to take the rest. And then look at that, that's basically just over a thousand coins. Now imagine if you could make like 15 or 20 of them, you'd be able to, well, you'd be able to sell them, basically sell them to all of these people and like I say, it's another easy money maker. All you need to do is take the flax out of the field, turn it into the linen uh, threads, make the t-shirts and then come here and sell them. How easy is that? There's no like going around collecting, collecting things. I know like, a lot of people, they kind of say, oh yeah, do knives. Like go around, pick up stones and chop down trees. Nah, 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 nah. We want the easy life on this. So anyway, that's the sort of probably the top tier one that I'd go for because it's so easy. And finally, the last one obviously is the market stores. Now I'm not at that level at the minute, so I can't do that yet. But if you want to see that in action, make sure you hit the playlist. There's a new video every single day as we grow our village in the north. And then what we'll be able to do eventually is basically open li literally is one of these and you just set somebody up and they'll just sell things whatever you tell them to sell they'll sell it through the day and then at the end of the day you'll have some money in the resource storage which is exactly what we will be doing when we unlock it now if we head to the technology tab we go to the market stall it's two and a half thousand points i've currently got 1380 so like I say, head on to our playlist, join us in the series, and eventually we'll get the market stall up and running to sell some stuff. So we won't even have to come to a village. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you like the easy way to make money, drop a like. Share some thoughts in the comment section. What do you like to make? What do you like to craft and sell? Thanks for watching.